Good evening. This is Agashvani Kohima. I am Jonas Yantan with Evening News. The headlines. Prime Minister Nerina Modi embarks on a three-day visit to Poland and Ukraine. Nagaland Medical Students Association opposes conduct of departmental examination for regularization of doctors. Naga Students Federation says it will conduct physical verification of documents of all candidates selected through need for various courses. And Nagaland Governor declares Saturday, August 24 as working day. Now the news in detail. Prime Minister Narendra Modi is on a three-day visit to Poland and Ukraine. Modi will hold talks with his Polish counterpart Donald Tusk and will call on President Andreas Duda. Modi will also interact with the Indian community, business leaders and prominent ideologists. The Prime Minister said that Poland is a key economic partner in Central Europe. Modi said he will be visiting Ukraine on Friday at the invitation of President Volodymyr Zelensky and this is the first ever visit by an Indian Prime Minister to Ukraine since bilateral relations began in 1992. He said he looks forward to the opportunity to build upon earlier conversations with President Zelensky on strengthening bilateral cooperation and share perspectives on peaceful resolution of the ongoing Ukraine conflict. Nagaland Medical Students Association, NMSA, has strongly opposed the Health and Family Welfare Department's notification to conduct departmental examination for regularization of doctors appointed on contractual basis during the COVID-19 pandemic. NMSA demanded that all sanctioned medical officer posts currently occupied by COVID-19 contractual doctors should be advertised and filled through NPSC combined technical services examination. NMSA in a press release today said that state government's decision to conduct departmental examination for regularization of doctors appointed on contractual basis effectively restricts examination opportunities to only the 98 contractual doctors appointed during the pandemic. It said that the government notification is against established norms and poses a significant threat to the careers of countless deserving medical professionals. NMSA strongly urged the government to reconsider its decision and uphold the principles of fairness and meritocracy. NMSA also forwarded a representation to all the appropriate authorities for their consideration. Naga Students Federation, NSF, has said that it will conduct physical verification of documents of all candidates selected through need for various courses at the NSF office in Kohima on August 22 and 23. NSF asserted that only candidates who are Nagas by blood from Nagaland State are eligible for seats allotted under the Nagaland State quota. The student's body said that it will not tolerate non-Indigenous candidates applying under the state quota. It said verification process requires candidates to appear in person, accompanied by their parents or guardians. NSF has asked the candidates to come along with their original documents, including a recent passport size photograph, need documents, HSLC and HSSLC admit cards, scheduled tribe certificate and indigenous certificate. Further, NSF said that candidates who fail to complete the verification process within the specified dates will be deemed ineligible and appropriate actions taken against defaulters. Nagaland Governor has declared the 24th of this month, 4th Saturday, as a working day for all state government offices located in Kohima in view of the forthcoming 5th session of the 14th Nagaland Legislative Assembly, commencing from 27th August. All administrative heads and heads of departments have been asked to ensure attendance of the officers and staff of their respective departments on the aforementioned date. The BJP today conducted a workshop on Satas Yada Apian membership drive aimed at expanding party membership and strengthening grassroots engagement at Lions Club, Dimapu. Speaking at the program, Nagaland Deputy Chief Minister Y. Button urged party members to keep in mind the unique challenges and opportunities faced in Nagaland and tailor their approach to resonate with the aspirations of the young and dynamic population. Member of Parliament and BJP National Secretary 
Kamakya Prasad Dasa, in his keynote address, highlighted the significance of civic engagement and the role of political parties in driving national progress. This news comes to you from Akashvani Kohima. You can also listen to this news bulletin on News On Air app and YouTube channel AIA News Kohima. National People's Party, NPP, 17th Chizami Assembly Constituency, has urged Nagaland government to urgently address the deteriorating condition of Futsero Zawami Road. It said that the road is critical interstate route connecting Nagaland with Manipur and is the main artery for the villages of Tsufume, Razeba, Zelomi and Zavrime. The party criticised the government for years of neglect neglecting the important road. It said that the Futsuro Chilo Road, despite its vital role, has seen little or no maintenance for years, leaving it in a pathetic and awful state. It said that the Razepa area, recognised for its agricultural potential, has suffered significant setbacks as farmers struggle to transport the produce to the markets. Further, Javeme and Zafeme villages, known as a vegetable village and ground apple village, respectively, have faced considerable losses due to the road's disrepair. In this regard, the NPP demanded the government to construct safe all-weather road to ensure the well-being and economic stability of Razeba area. A certification program for weavers under Pratan Mantri Kaushal Vikas Yojana PMKVY short-term training scheme was held today at North Eastern Handloom and Handicraft Development Corporation Centre in Walker. Speaking at the program, a special guest, functional manager of District Industry Centre Walker, Mabemo Lota assured full support from the department for entrepreneurs and urged the trainees to form groups and societies to leverage their skills. A steel and project manager Walker, Anu Ranjan Singh urged the trainees to use the training centre for production as it is also a production centre. During the programme, certificates were distributed to 32 beneficiaries. The event was organised by Charity Club Multipurpose Society. Nagaland Board of School Education, NBSC, has notified that the dates for filling up of forms for high school living certificate and higher secondary school living certificate examinations 2025 for the regular, repeaters and compartmental students are fixed from 17 September to 30 September 2024. Intending candidates have been asked to fill up their application forms by accessing the NPSC portal nbscnl.edu.in. NPSC asked institutions and centres to log in to NPSC portal and verify the forms and pay the examination fee for their different categories of candidates within the above mentioned dates. The Department of Fisheries and Aquatic Resources, Kifere, conducted a three day training programme on the importance of fish consumption and process of making value added products. Speaking at a program as guest of honour today, DEPO LRD Lipichem emphasised on making fish pickle to encourage fish farmers and boost the district's rich fishery. 30 beneficiaries from Gifre district who attended the program also received technical training on pickle making, jam making and candy making. And in sports, the 13th Luc Sassong Memorial Trophy 2024 got underway today at the Maldi Sports Complex Mokukchung. In the first match of the tournament, MH10 Kohima defeated Changdongya Volleyball Association in straight sets of 25-21 and 28-26. Earlier speaking at the inaugural program as guest of honour, Mokukchung District Volleyball Association, MDVA President Imdi Bokim, Acknowledge the efforts of Luke Sasong Sporting Association in organizing the tournament. He also recalled Luke Sasong as a renowned leader. Altogether, 12 teams are taking part in the trophy. And now it's when the news, here are the headlines again. Prime Minister Narendra Modi embarks on a three day visit to Poland and Ukraine. Nagaland Medical Students Association opposes conduct of departmental examination for regularization of doctors. 
Naga Students Federation says it will conduct physical verification of documents of all candidates selected through need for various courses. And Nagaland Governor declares Saturday, August 24, as working day. That is all we have in this evening news bulletin. Good night. 